say that shit, that shit. Like bad kids, bitch, we reckless. Yeah, my hearts are like taxes. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Guapi Choice signing back with another video. And hold, hold on, man. Like, I always say hold up, man, at the beginning of my videos. Like, I always got something important to say. But most of the time, it's always important. Now, check this out. Now, first, I want to address that how I'm wearing clothes. Why is it that when I've always got clothes on, why is it that I always got clothes on around my house and I don't go nowhere? Like, see, I, I, I got my fit on and everything like I'm going to the movies or I'm at a party or something. But meanwhile, I'm just sitting here recording a video like this. But um, but besides that, nah, because I have to wear this because like it's cold in my basement, uh, while I'm recording this video, and I can't like find any sorts of heat, so this is gonna have to do for now. But um, but anyways, now second thing, now I did hear that this guy named John is that a is that a why Joiner Lucas? Um, I don't know who he is, by the way. Um, is he like a YouTuber or something? But anyways, this guy by the name of Joyner Lucas posted a remix of Gucci Gang. Um, supposedly he dissed Lil Pump. Now, and I'm like, he dissed Lil Pump? What did Lil Pump ever do to him? What did he, what did he do? Because, first of all, I, I don't even know who Joyner Lucas is. I don't know if he's a rapper or... I, I, I think he's a YouTube because when I first clicked on the video, he got over almost 700k. So, he clearly got clout behind his name, but I never heard of him. I never heard of him. Now, Gucci Gang, y'all know Gucci Gang is the number one popping song in the US of A right now. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you go, you're going to hear Gucci Gang. Whether it's a crackhead yelling it down the street, yelling it, yelling out Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Or you in school and someone got on the Gucci belt, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Or you just going to hear on the radio, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't going to lie. Gucci Gang is my song. It is my new favorite song. Now, Mask Off used to be... Y'all remember Mask Off, right? Everybody was yelling Mask Off. Mask on fucking Mask Off. Everybody was yelling it. Now, everybody yelling Gucci Gang. Everybody was yelling Bad and Bougie. Everybody was yelling Mask Off. It seemed like whenever a new song gets around, the more and more people start to yell it and sing it out in public. You get what I'm saying? Now, Gucci Gang, now, Gucci Gang is one of my favorite songs because, like, it's so catchy. The reason why it's so popular is because it's so catchy. Because, like, nowadays, we don't really care about the lyrical stuff. Nine times out of ten, the most popping songs is the ones that's, like, that, like, constantly repeats itself, like, Mask Off and Gucci Gang. And then, like, they played it. Mainly the lit songs be the club, be, be like the songs that they play in clubs and parties. You know what I'm saying? Gucci Gang is an example because the lyrics is just catchy. You know what I'm saying? Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Like, you're not going to get an earworm off that, right? Now, Gucci Gang, like, I, wh whatever, now, whatever's giving me through a hard time, I play Gucci Gang. What, when I got my alarm set up, Hold on, hold on. Let me give you, show y'all something. I got an alarm set up uh, with Gucci Gang as my um as my ringtone for my um alarm. I got Gucci Gang set up for my um ringtone, and I got Gucci Gang set up for my notifications. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's my song right now. But anyways, I'm not gonna hold y'all up too long. We just gonna get straight to the point. Now. Gucci Gang, now, supposedly, I did hear this on Twitter. Now, I did hear this on Twitter, but it was only, like, a minute long, so I didn't hear the full stuff. This, like, three minutes and 11 seconds, so we gonna watch this stuff together. Now, I only heard, like, a little bit of it, but I didn't hear the full version. Now, without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Yeah. Gucci gang, Louis gang, Fendi gang, Dolce gang, Sachi gang, Prada gang, lot of gang. I don't really fuck with no brand names. Jonah about to go on a rampage. Ooh. They don't wanna see me let the chopper bang. Yeah. Get this bitch jumping like shopping rank. Ooh. What's a little pump to a rocket flame? Yeah. Turn your 
pink dreads in the pocket chain. Yeah. All you new rappers on me talking about shit except doing drugs. Wonder how you got a name. Damn. Yeah. Sipping lean, taking E, Percocet, purple drinks, and next. Everything sound the same. Fuck. Yeah. Bunch of drug addicts in the house of pain. Woo. Hope you niggas suffer till you pop a van. Yeah. This should make your mother wanna ovulate. Yeah. Yeah. This should make your doctors wanna stop a train. Woo. You spend the Louis product, don't you? Yeah. Back when I was broke and no one know me. Woo. I couldn't afford it, and now that I got the money, I don't even want this shit because it ain't for me. I always been myself, you don't know me Whoa. Yeah, I was so depressed, I was lonely <laughs> The man on the horse, all I had was Ralph Lauren And I went and signed a deal and bought a pony Whoa. Yeah, I'm taking it back and then I'm smacking you bitches and laughing And I'm killing them hacking and I'm sending your body right back to them You wonder what's happening, I'm flipping new syllables, acronyms I guess I'm a practicing, you fuckers are fucking embarrassing You ain't gonna be happy when I'm on top and I'm gonna be popping Or you gonna be dropping like birds dropping all on your crutches So you niggas are watching, I'm spitting, slapping all on your coffin I'll repeat you lost and you fucking sleeping, you pillow talking And you dream all day, that's per year, per year. All your whole niggas in your purse here. purse here I'm your favorite rapper's worst fear Why? Raised in the mud, crying dirt tears Whoa. Just a bunch of kids in a high chair Couldn't get a buzz even if you had light here Wouldn't get no love even if your heart's right here Niggas got guns, so nobody wanna fight fair, no Hit him with the Ric Flair and a suplex I ain't never been scared, bitch, you're ruthless Whoa. Raised by the ghetto, know some games that I get them Split them right down the middle like a fucking duplex Bring a nigga toes, make him do the two-step Crib full of hoes, now I feel like you have Got a bad stripper, bitch, all we do is have sex And she loves sucking dick, so I call her loose neck Whoa. Making a panic with my shit and I'm flipping the bandages I'm in the handle and the of crushing and vanishing I hit him and slam him in the walls and I got him enchanted In my fucking hands and I'm holding hammer, banging the sand And killing him in the ambulance, they're dying and they bleeding They traveling, I'm really sick and I got him stiff as a fucking mannequin I paint a picture with castle vision all on my cell phone I got a swing and they on my dick and grabbing my pants again I own a dog, play hey. by the single I ain't Spanish but I know the lingo Atlantic told me that my flow on it But my album ain't coming unless I got a fucking single well, I don't give a fuck about no head record I'ma just remix y'all shit and get big off it I'ma just murder every motherfucking beat While I'm dreaming, get paid in my motherfucking sleep Goddamn! Woo! Gucci gang, Louis gang, Fendi gang, Don't you gang, Sachi gang, Prada gang, lot of gangs Whoa! I don't really fuck with no brand names Join about to go on a rampage, ooh They don't wanna see me, let the chopper bang, woo Get this bitch jumping like chopper rank, yeah What's a little pump to a rocket flame, woo Gucci gang, Fendi gang, Prada gang, yeah all you new rappers don't talk about shit except doing drugs. Wonder how you got a name, huh? Sipping lean, taking E, Percocet, purple drinks, and next. Every day sound the same. Fuck. Bunch of drug addicts in the house of pain. And all you niggas suffer till you pop a van, huh? Gucci game, Fendi game, Prada game. I don't really fuck with no brand names. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 750. That was fire. It was straight fire. Now, I honestly get the message that he's trying to send. Now, whenever I listen to songs, I'm very picky when it comes to songs. Now, y'all say like, I get I get comments every day, like, uh, even on my fan fiction accounts, like my um my you know what I'm saying, all my social medias. Like when I told people, like when I give a list on one of my accounts on my bios, like what's my favorite songs, etc. Like they saying like, yo, you got some really good taste in music. And I'm like, really? Cause, Cause like, I'm very picky when it comes to songs. Y'all know this. I can't just play anything. And that, that should be the case with most of you. But the main thing that's going to get me listening to a song constantly is if the beat is fire, is if the lyrics is reasonably acceptable, and three, it has to have a message. Now, the... Now, this song did all three. Gucci Gang is an automatic is an automatic check off the list when it comes to those three. Now, the lyrics, another check because he just went Eminem twice on this song. Twice! He just went Super Saiyan Eminem twice on this song. And I'm... Bro, you... I'm starting to think... Did he, did he get that all in one go or did he have to do that like multiple times over till he can get it right? Because I know like most people, especially Eminem, they actually have to like, I know that they have to do it a couple times in order to, in order to get it right. Now, of course he's sending a message to like these rappers because like they, now it seems like all these rappers do these days is just talk about drugs, killing, fucking hoes, and riding in fast cars. Now don't get me wrong, it's fire either way. But at the same time, like they just leave them live a life. They they just love to do it. Because now I don't I don't do I can't really say speak for them because I don't do drugs or do any of that. Uh, I know I'm surrounded by people at my school, I can't wait to get out of there by the way, that constantly uh, smoke weed, they um, pop pills. 
Like they are constantly having sex at parties and whatever. Um, like they drinking and stuff like that. I don't really do any of that. Now, also, I got a story time. Uh, I should. I want to tell the story time, my story times, but I got. I oh, I want to save them for when I get hopefully bigger one day. Now, I don't. Now, as for me, I don't do drugs or any of that because, like, I know because, like, especially in the neighborhood on my block, like, I've seen many people's lives get screwed over because they've actually did drugs and then they had to repay their debt because they were so hooked on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know I had a plan to smoke weed. I, I want to smoke weed one, like, at least once. At least one time and one time only. If I'm only going to smoke it once, I may as well do it once and one time only. And then that's going to be the best time that I'm ever going to do it. Because like, I don't want to be constantly, you know what I'm saying, buying weed, buying weed, etc. And then I end up in the debt. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the easiest way to get pulled into the drug game. Like, a lot, a not, a lot, of, a not a lot of y'all know this because y'all kids and whatever. Y'all young, so y'all not really going to understand this. But if you come from where I come from, like, you're going to understand where, what I'm talking about. But nine times out of ten, like, Future, Future, he talks about drugs, but he actually came out in a statement saying he doesn't do drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was like a year ago he made that statement. I believe. I don't know. He might do drugs. I, I'm not really sure because I can't really judge them because I'm not with them as they doing it. You know what I'm saying? If they want to talk about drugs, I, I just, just assume that they doing it. Like, why would, they, why would they be talking about it if they not doing it? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm just, I'm just fixated with my words because, like, number one, like, and then he just go on and diss Lil Pump. Now, Lil Pump, he's one of my favorite rappers. Hands down. I fuck with all of his songs. All of them. Gucci Gang, Boss, Molly, D-Rose, especially D-Rose. Uh, what you gotta say is his whole entire album. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's straight fire. Now he just signed a record deal. I I saw on DJ Academics. I might react to that. Maybe not. Um, he did sign a 360 deal with Warner Bros. But he just at this moment in time he just living life because like he just getting money. He going to parties. He's fame. He's famous. You know what I'm saying? So. You can't really just knock him off because like he's talking about drugs and whatever. When nine to nine out of ten rappers, if you go up to them and they talk about drugs, like nine times out of ten, like they probably do it. You got even look Lil Yachty Future. They even came out and said that they don't do drugs, but I can't really know because I'm not with them. Like I said before, but um, and also another thing now. A lot of people fucking with the remix because it got 4.6 million views in four days. Now that was that was he that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good for a remix. Now to me, I don't really think that any remix will ever be better than the original, except for NBA YoungBoy and Twenty One Savage Murder Remix. That was fire. That was fire. Youngboy definitely made a good choice by getting Savage on, on that track. But, other than that, like, I think this is a good song. Now, of course, he went on in this Lil Pump. Of course, Lil Pump is going to have to respond to this some type of way. Like, um, I either if it's going to be on Instagram or in an actual statement with, like, a new, with, like, an article or whatever. Like, he's going to have to, he can't just not respond, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you get what I'm saying? Because he has like the second most popping song in the country. He has to respond to it. But at the end of the day, he's getting so much money that he doesn't really have to. So, but anyways, this video is getting way too long and I still got to pump out another reaction video. Um, and I might stream with, I'll tell you what. Five likes, five likes in about two hours. Five likes, no, no, uh, that's not going to work. Uh, five likes in an hour, and then we'll um, and then I'll stream. I, I probably might stream either way, but make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Make sure you also follow me on Twitter. It's also on the screen down here, whatever it is. Um, make sure y'all go follow me on that. This your boy Guap, and I'm signing out, man. I'm signing out.